Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth. Now in today's video, I want to show you guys some of the current products that I'm currently using for my hair. Before I do a curly hair routine, I wanted to show you guys the products that I use because I do switch it up on what my hair really needs. So yeah, I'm just going to show you what products I'm currently using. So let's get to the point. Let's start. So let's talk about shampoo. So currently I'm using two different kinds of shampoo and they're both from Shea Moisture. The first one is this one right here and it is 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration shampoo. Now what I like about this shampoo is that it's very hydrating on the scalp. It doesn't strip my hair down of any oils. And yeah, this conditioner just makes my hair feel nice and hydrated. Now on the days that I feel like I need a little bit more of a cleaner scalp, if I feel like my hair is a little flaky, my hair has a lot of buildup, then I'll switch to this Shea Moisture shampoo and it is the African water Water, mint and ginger detox and refresh hair and scalp gentle shampoo is this product right here now I really really like this product like if I feel like I have a lot of built up in my hair then I'll use this and it has a very light tingling sensation nothing strong at all I was expecting like a little bit more but it's very mild so I do like that at the same time so these are the two shampoos I'm using I'll switch them off now let's move to conditioner and then the first conditioner that I'm using that I'm trying to get rid of it's by Trader Joe's and it is the nurse spa conditioner this conditioner right here what I like about this conditioner is that it's um very cheap and it does a good job of just detangling my hair making my hair feel nice and soft and just making my hair feel soft and hydrated this is a nice conditioner if you're looking for something cheap that has enough slip to really detangle your hair this is a good conditioner now another conditioner that I'm currently using right now is by Maui Moisture and it is the heal and hydrate shea butter conditioner this conditioner right here I use a lot because I need a lot of conditioner to really detangle my hair first thing first this product smells so freaking good like it's like a nice perfume for your hair Maui Moisture has really good smelling hair products I like that this is nice and thick it's nice and creamy it's very moisturizing it does a good job of just detangling my hair it has like a lot of good stuff in your hair so if you're looking for something that's silicone paraben free mineral oil free and all this other free stuff this is a good product for you so check this out if you're looking um for a more healthy hair product i don't know one that smells good i do recommend this i do like that another conditioner that i'm currently using which is so random that i picked this up is by suave it's suave professionals almond and shea butter moisturizing conditioner now this is so random i went to walmart and i always hear things about this product i feel like the reason why i buy 99 percent of all my hair products is because i hear from other people that they say that this is a good product so wow it's really wet Yep, I got this from my shower. This product I heard good things about, and now that I've used it, it's really cheap. Let me mention that. I got it for around $3, so it's a really good price if you're looking for something cheap at the store that's really going to moisturize and detangle your hair. Now, just a disclaimer, if you guys are looking for a product that's silicone-free or anything like that, this product is not that. This product does have silicone in it, so just be aware of it. But I just got this product because I wanted to see if it will do a good job of just detangling my hair and just making my hair feel not dry. So, so far, so good. I'm noticing with this product that my hair doesn't feel dry and it does a good job of detangling my hair. But I'm going to keep using this product and see how I feel, but so far so good like I keep saying so let's talk about hair mask now this hair mask I'm currently using and it is by Lac Rose is a sweet coconut hair treatment with coconut and avocado oil if you guys saw the video that I did about the Lac Rose leave-in conditioner I went on the website and I saw this product I really looked at the ingredients and um I liked it so I bought it now the ingredients are of course coconut oil avocado oil grapeseed oil olive oil and all these other different oils uh castor oil but what I'm not liking about this hair product is how thin it is I don't know I'm used to my hair mask being on the thick side but this product is very very thin so I feel like I add a lot because it's very thin but um, my hair does feel nice and hydrated after I use it but I don't know that's the downside of this product I don't think I would repurchase it just because it's on the thinner side so if you're looking for a hair mask that's thin this is a good one because the ingredients are perfect but if we use two thicker creamy hair mask then I wouldn't really recommend this. So I'm using about uh, two leave-in conditioners and one that's no surprise is this huge one. It's a Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. I have about this much left. Yeah. And I started using this product. I wrote the date. Where the heck is the date? I started using this product January 1st and yeah, I got like this much left. I really do like this leave-in conditioner. Um, It's nice and creamy. It's very hydrating. It doesn't leave my hair feeling dry. If I use this by itself as a good styler, when I combine it with other products, it just picks up where other products are lacking. If I'm using a product that is not super moisturizing, but it's really good with um, curl definition, then I'll use this product first and that product second. It just gives my hair a nice hydrating balance. I don't know. I just really like this product. Another leave 
conditioner that I'm using is by Lac Rose. It's a hydrated leave-in conditioner. So this product I'm currently using, I do like it. I like that it's on the thinner side. It doesn't really weigh my hair down and it does a good job of really hydrating my curls. But the thing I'm noticing with this product is that sometimes if I combine it with another product, it doesn't really mesh well, which sucks because I use it with my Bounce Curl product and I feel like it has like little clumps. Like it doesn't really mix well together. So I noticed that in my hair, it may look a little bit white. So I don't know, man. This product doesn't really mesh well with other products. So I'll just keep trying to do some kind of scientific experiment trying to mesh product up to see if it's really this product but I still do like it anyways so another leave-in conditioner that I'm using is by Shea Moisture and it's the Shea Moisture 100% virgin coconut oil leave-in treatment I said I was gonna do a review on my unboxing video and I haven't really gotten around to it so here is one review of the products from that unboxing well two because I got this in it and I just reviewed that right now so this product is on the thinner side I don't really use it as a leave-in conditioner well I do use it as a leave-in conditioner not by itself I use it with a combination of other products but I really use it as a refreshener for my hair for my second day on my third day hair if the back of my hair around here if the back of my hair looks frizzy then I'll just spray this and I'll just work it into my hair and it does a good job of really defrizzing my hair so I really do like that this product claims to detangle protect and control frizz and I think it does a good job on really controlling my frizz and just really clumping my curls back together so I do like this product I like that it's in a spray bottle I like that it's very thin so that I don't feel like it's weighing my curls down so so far this product is really good I really like it so let's talk about styler. So, so far I'm using only one thing to style my hair. Besides leave-in conditioner, this is the only product I'm using to really style my hair as a styler. And it's the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel. I like it because it really does a good job of really keeping my curls together. It doesn't leave my hair flaky. It doesn't leave any strong cast to my hair, so I do like that. This product smells good. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It gives a nice volume to my hair and it doesn't cause any frizziness. And I just really like this product. So these are just the products that I'm reaching to on a daily basis to share shampoo condition really control my hair so these are just all the products that I'm currently using right now it's not really that much because I feel like I'm always doing hair reviews so when I'm not reviewing any new products these are the products that I'm currently using in my hair so I just really wanted to show you just that before I do a curly hair routine because when I do the curly hair routine I'll show you what I'm using that day but these are the products that if I'm not using that I'm using this so I wanted to show this first before I do my curly hair routine so yes that's pretty much it I hope you guys found it helpful if you guys did please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys